Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with a quick update on the Tinkercad Code Blocks Pumpkin. So, my friends, let's get cracking. So, friends, as an educator, when I see this happen in my classroom, I see the mistakes that I really want you to know about quick. So, if you're a fellow educator or a student that's stuck, these are things that can help you. The first one is super simple. If I take the mouth and put it below the jack o' lantern, when I hit play, you will get a red blinking spot error that object was being used before it was created. As soon as you put the mouth above the jack o' lantern, you are back in business. Another common one was students did not delete the pumpkin. If I throw this away, the pumpkin looks like this. A real cool test of this is to go to your pumpkin and make it a weird color. Because later in here, we can make our pumpkin orange again. And watch when this draws. We start with our blue pumpkin shape, and then it makes the new one that's orange. And then you can see when it hollows, that blue one is still inside. Real quickly, I'm gonna go back to my pumpkin part right here, and right after the group, I'm gonna bring in that delete object and get rid of the original pumpkin. Let's get it back the way it was supposed to be. Set the original pumpkin to orange just because it looks cooler. Break that apart. Move to modify, find our delete object. Once again, hit that data option and bring out the object we wanna remove, reconnect it, hit play, and boom, our pumpkin is back in order. Another item I saw was people left this as the word item instead of turn. That was a common problem. And then also if you have a whole number instead of 0.4, it makes your pumpkin look more like a flower, which was kind of funny as well. So friends, I've found that the numbers in the code blocks are small, and that's why I add those little text windows to help kids be successful when they're typing them in. Uh, friends, the project turned out really sweet in my class. I hope you guys are having fun with it as well. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question or comment, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Perfect.